Guy, you're the coach for the uh, Queensland team for the Trans-Tasman Young Riders. Uh, could you tell me the history of this event, please? Well, basically, uh, yes, I'm the coach, but also one of the uh, original organisers. The event started in um, 1997 uh, by another gentleman who was chairman of the uh, show jumping committee then, Gordon Wilson, myself and um, a gentleman from New Zealand called Tim Pearce. And we decided that uh, we needed something to give our young riders the uh, exposure of, of actually um, uh, competing against riders that they have never met. Uh, basically because what happens each year is the New Zealand send a team over here and we send a team to New Zealand. Uh, the team consists of four riders that uh, because of the cost of horses and, and that being awkward they actually ride borrow horses so the two teams here we have to supply eight horses when we go to New Zealand it's exactly the same and um, this uh, I think we worked out the other night is our 31st trip so when you work that out it's a lot of uh, well a two a year so from 97 and and um, uh, the the people that they or you know we've got here starting in our World Cup tomorrow um, Stewie Jenkins um, Merrick Eubank Billy Raymond all of our main names and they've all been in our young rider team so that's where they uh, we got the little bit of exposure and uh, the reason we put it together was basically because um, it's okay, you can go in Australia, you can go to send a team to Western Australia. But Western Australia is the same course builders, it's the same, you know, it's just Western Australia. So by going to New Zealand and getting this going, you're actually going places that they've never been. And, and in that time, we've probably sent 40 odd riders uh, or given them the opportunity to have a trip and, and do something like that. So. And uh, in, the, uh, in the actual competition, these riders obviously haven't ridden the horses before. Do they get the opportunity to jump a couple of fences before they do their round? Yes. What happens is with the eight horses, we split them up into two teams and the competition's over three days. So the first day, we ride one team as Queenslanders and the New Zealanders ride one team. And then, uh, as, as you said, they haven't ridden those horses, so they can get on those horses before it and pop over your practice fence, and that's basically it. So it's, a, it's an art in itself. And then the last day, uh, we draw for horses on a one-for-one -one basis to, to put the two teams together, and that gets our three competitions. And how do you think the, Australia, the uh, Queensland team will, will go? Well... It's like any team's event. If we all sit now and watch the games, things that we expected to happen aren't necessarily happening. And um, other things, um, uh, probably our biggest example is our swimmer that, that had so much to say and, and um, got carried away and then got beat by hundreds of a second, which just goes to show that, you know, basically there isn't much you can do until the end result comes in and that'll tell you the story. Well, let's hope it's a good result for Queensland and that it's a really great competition. And, Guy, thank you very much for talking to us today at Top Horse, and we wish you well. Thank you for that. Okay, so the Australian team, you won the first round of the ta uh, tra Trans Tasman Young Rider competition today, so you must be pretty excited. How did you feel? Yeah, I mean, it's really good to come out and win the first round. It um, gives us confidence for the next few days. I think all of our horses went really well, so we're really happy. And Gemma, how did you find your horse? Um, she was super. She jumped a double cleanie and went around it easy. The New Zealanders have her tomorrow, so they should go good. And Jesse, you'll be riding a different horse tomorrow. And uh, how did you find your horse today? Yeah, he was really good. Um, it's um, a great pleasure to ride someone else's horse. You know, I get a lot of experience and I'll be looking forward to tomorrow. Now, Hugh, we're leading the competition this, at this stage for Australia. So what are, what are you looking forward to tomorrow and what happens tomorrow? Um, tomorrow we're looking forward to going for another uh, three clear rounds each. And um, yeah, at least anyway, four is as good as you can get, but that's a drop score. So. We're pretty, pretty lucky to have that drop score. It works out well, and um, yeah, hopefully the next two days we can go better and better. So, Katie, you're riding from New Ze for New Zealand, and how was your ride today? Well, she went double clear, so I couldn't really ask you more from her than that, could I? No, you couldn't. It was a lovely round, and uh, at this stage, New Zealand's behind. So you'll be hoping for better tomorrow. 
Oh, I think everyone did really well, so we'll just put in our best again tomorrow and see what happens. Bridget, you had a bit of a tough time with your horse today. It was a little bit uh, hard to, to judge when he was going to take off at the fences. Yeah, he was a little bit. He took a little bit to get used to, but he was a nice horse. We're lucky to, to have owners put up their horses, so he, he got better and better. OK, so Luke, um, well done today. You'll be hoping for better things tomorrow. Yeah, I think the team performed really well today, even though we're behind, but every day is a new day, so we'll just we'll go out for, for the best result tomorrow again. And and different horses tomorrow, obviously, So you, and your coach selects the horse that thinks will be the best horse for you to ride? Yeah, she does, and she does a pretty good job, I think. So, Logan, uh, you're a little behind Australia today. What The rivalry between Australia and New Zealand, how's that going to go for you tomorrow? Yeah, well, we wouldn't want to lose to them, to be fair, so we're going to have to pick up that game tomorrow and try to take them on a bit better. OK, well, all the best to New Zealand for tomorrow, Thank and thanks for talking to Top Horse. Thank you.